Hey Saints, it's Ray, your Christian music marketing promoter. Welcome to another episode of Divine Jams Podcast. In this episode, the topic is building a strong fan base, engaging with Christian gospel music fans. I'll present seven strategies to help gospel artists connect with their audience, build a loyal fan base, and ultimately thrive in your music career. So don't go anywhere. I'll get started right after this. You're now tuned in to Divine Jams Podcast, bringing you inspiration and talented artists and the story behind the music. And now, here's your host, Brother, Brother Ray. Ray. First strategy to building a fan base, you need to understand your target audience. It all starts with knowing your audience demographics, understanding factors such as age, gender, location, and interest allows you to tailor your engagement and content to resonate with them effectively. Now, in the coming episode, I'll share specifically how you can find your demographics. So be sure to subscribe to any of our podcast platforms or YouTube channel. The link is in the description. In short, the tools you can use, one, is social media insights. Two, you can also use Google Analytics. Three, you can conduct surveys. Four, analyze streaming platform data. Five, monitor your website analytics. Six, analyze email subscriber data. And seven, use analytic tools with social media ads. Next, to understand your target audience, seek what their motivations and values are. Go deeper into why your fans connect with your music and the values it presents. So let's assume that God is the top motivation and value for Christian and gospel music fans. We can also assume music is a key factor that motivate your fans. We need to know how your specific music format motivates them. This is crucial because if you are promoting an EP or an album, each song may not all be in the same format. For instance, you might have on the project a gospel track, a contemporary Christian track, Christian hip hop, Christian pop or Christian rock and so on and so on. It may or may not be better to promote each song independently rather than the EP or the album as a whole. So. You can narrow your target audience when using keywords or keywords of interest. But again, we'll go over this deeper on the subject in the coming episode and our publishing. The method of delivery can also determine how your music motivates fans. For an example, if you're using social media to motivate fans, how is your music and content shown? Is it a simple written post of your song or do you have visuals and videos and graphics that might compel viewers to take an action? Overall, demographic insight will guide your efforts and engaging with people on a deeper level. Again, there are several ways of getting these insight. And in the upcoming podcast, I'll present more about this. So be sure to subscribe to Divine Jams Gospel Network podcast, either on YouTube, the major podcast networks, or even certain specific radio networks. The link is included in the description. The second strategy to building a fan base is authenticity and transparency. This is my favorite strategy for artists because building trust and a genuine connection begins with sharing your personal journey, experiences, and inspiration behind the music. Authentic storytelling helps fans relate to you on a deeper level. The opportunity for artists to share your personal story through various methods and platforms has never been so available in today's time. 
If you put in the work, creativity and the effect of advertisement, you can earn new followers. It may take a little time as you improve, but consistency will eventually pay off. A great video for sharing your story can be seen in our news blog article, Building a Strong Fan Base, is the recent documentary with Grammy Award winning artist Kirk Franklin. I recommend you learn how he put together elements in the video with clips of his music rehearsals, studio sessions, and the various reality clips as a whole. There's also a shorter and basic but effective video we created for a uh, Christian hip hop artist back in 2019, yet it still appears relevant to this day and offers insights behind the song. We managed to create and edit the story with a duration of only 2 minutes and 46 seconds, so the length of your storytelling is flexible. Obviously, if you're a major artist with a large fan base, your story will organically spread faster. Nonetheless, the ability to use the same strategy and um, the same techniques is available for anyone. Every day on social media, there's a story going viral. So the possibility is there. You might need assistance with illuminating your story and added media and accessible tools such as video editing software, but you can get access to the resources to get the job done. There's a link in the description to guide you with an option. The second point for authenticity and transparency is behind the scenes content. You know, fans love to get a behind the scene look at your creativity and your creative process. I recommend that, again, you use recordings of your studio sessions, rehearsals or backstage moments. What this does is allow fans to feel more involved in your artistic journey. Personally, I'm a fond at viewing you guys um, videos and honestly, it makes it so much easier for us as promoters when you provide that rich media content for certain promotions. Finally, being transparent and authentic includes engaging, engaging with your fans, responding to comments, messages and social media posts shows that you care and you don't see followers as a means to meet your needs or just a means to the end. You know, the Bible says as believers, we are to encourage one another and build each other up. And if someone has made an inspirational comment in response to your content, it's only fair and encouraging to take the time to engage back one way or another at the least. Now, obviously, if your content goes viral, it might be difficult to reply to each and every comment. I get it. But one way you can respond is by creating a thank you video to follow up on the comments you receive. But use your own judgment how you want to answer some of those comments. The third strategy for building a fan base is obvious, and that is social media. But let me explain why. First, it's important to provide a consistent presence. Maintaining a consistent presence on social media is so crucial. In this day and time, social media is a powerful communication tool for gospel recording artists to spread your message, connect with your audience, and reach new souls, right? But it's even more crucial for us faith-based artists to maintain a consistent presence on social media for 10 reasons. One, spreading the good word should be done as long as we are capable to do so. Remember, we're first ministers before we are artists, right? Social media is like a virtual pool pit where gospel recording artists can share their music, thoughts, and messages with a global congregation. Consistency ensures that your message is continuously heard and embraced. Two, building and strengthening relationships. Just like a church community, Social media allows gospel artists to build and nurture relationships with fans and followers. 
consistent interactions through posts, comments, and messages strengthens that bond, making fans feel valued and connected. The third reason, staying relevant. This is a fast-paced world with new artists coming into the industry continuously. If you're not consistent, you can easily be forgotten. The digital world moves at lightning speed and trends come and go. To stay relevant as a gospel artist, you want to keep your presence constant. Regular updates. It shows that you're actively engaged with the audience and the ever-evolving online world. And the fourth reason, expanding your music ministry. Social media isn't limited by physical boundaries. Artists can reach people across the globe, even in places they may have never physically visit. In addition, you never know whose for you page your content will appear in front of and vice versa. I'm pretty sure you can relate to that. Hey, I don't subscribe to this kind of content. Why is it in front of my face? Well, that can happen for you as well. They may not subscribe to you, but your content might end up in front of them. Maybe it's a sign from God. Therefore, you have a greater chance of reaching new people by being consistent. And it ensures your ministry extends far and wide, reaching those who may need your message the most. The fifth reason, sharing other inspirational stories. You know, we as gospel and Christian artists often have powerful personal stories of faith and redemption. Consistently sharing these stories on social media can inspire and uplift others facing similar struggles. It's like sharing testimonies during a church service, but on a global scale. The sixth reason, promoting new music and projects. When artists release new music or projects, social media is your stage. Consistent updates build excitement and anticipation among fans, driving them to listen, watch, and support your offerings. Seven, encouraging engagement and participation. Through social media, artists can encourage their followers to participate in discussion, challenges, and events. Consistency in such activities fosters a sense of community and encourages active participation. This can be any discussion on any connected person's page. Hey, you'll be surprised how many people might click on your username after you make an inspiring comment on someone else's feed. You know, you can potentially gain a new follower when that person sees your profile with interesting content alike. The eighth reason. Sharing real-time updates. In times of crisis and uncertainty, social media allows artists to provide real-time updates and offer prayers and support for your followers. Consistency ensures you can be a source of comfort when it's needed the most. And the ninth reason, amplify your voice for social causes. Many gospel artists are passionate about social issues and causes. Some are affiliated with 501c3 organizations that supports their community needs. Well, consistent social media presence gives you a platform to advocate for change and rally support for important cause close to your heart. And finally, number 10 The final reason for a consistent presence is adapting to changing times. In the same way that churches adapt to new technologies, gospel recording artists should embrace social media to continue spreading your message effectively. It's truly a modern way of fulfilling your mission. It's all about fulfilling your divine calling to spread the message of faith, hope, and love to a digital congregation that spans the globe. And the next point why you should use social media is for interactive content. Nowadays, artists can use social media to interact with polls, quizzes, and challenges related to your music or your theme. 
some of you seasoned artists can recall there was a time before the discovery of social media, artists depended on traditional means to engage and gain access with an audience. Terrestrial radio, television, and print magazines, um, I mean, it was seriously challenging for independent artists. One, the limited access to the distribution channels. Limited distribution channels made it so difficult for independent artists to get their music heard. Major record labels had nearly a monopoly on distribution, making it hard for smaller gospel artists to reach a wider audience. Two, the high production costs. Producing that quality music, videos, and promotional materials. Well, back in the day, it required substantial financial investment, even more than what it does now. Independent artists often struggle to fund these aspects of their career, hindering their chances of getting noticed by media outlets. Three, there was limited exposure opportunities. Gospel artists had fewer opportunities for exposure in the early days. Gospel radio stations, television networks, and print magazines had limited space and time for independent artists, favoring those established acts, right? Four, reliance on physical media. Independent gospel artists had to produce physical copies of their music, which was costly and required physical distribution. This made it challenging to compete with those major label artists who had greater resources. Five, lack of online presence. Six, competition with major labels. Seven, networking challenges. Eight, limited marketing budgets. Nine, lack of professional representation. Independent artists had to handle their own management, bookings, and publicity. 10, genre bias. Gospel music may not have always received the same level of attention as other genres in mainstream media. Some outlets were biased towards secular music or focused on genres with larger commercial appeal. Thankfully today, independent gospel artists benefit from more inclusive gospel and Christian music outlets for their interactive content. There's digital platforms, social media, and online distribution services to somewhat level the playing field, um, allowing the artist to promote, engage, and secure interviews a little more easier than the old days. That's not to say now that the competition isn't still fierce, because the truth of the matter is artists still face challenges in standing out in a crowded digital landscape. Finally, Use social media for live streaming and Q&A. Here's what we know about why live streaming videos often receive increased visibility. Now, it's no secret providers of social media created algorithms to prioritize content that keeps users on their platform for longer durations. And live streams are effective at achieving this. But why? What is the human psychology and social dynamics why we humans prefer live streaming? Well, media psychology suggests several reasons through the research of online video engagement, user preferences, and the psychology of live streaming. One, interactivity and social connection. Live streaming allows for real-time interaction between the artist and the audience. This sense of interactivity and the ability to engage in a live conversation can enhance the feeling of social connection, which is a fundamental human need. Two, fear of missing out and exclusivity. Live streams are often seen as exclusive events that creates a sense of fear of missing out. What happens is your viewers may feel they are a part of a special time limited experience, motivating them to quickly engage in that live stream before it goes down. Right. If I'm being honest, I think we're just nosy in a godly and informative way, though. (laughs) Three. Authentic and trust. Live streaming is often perceived as more authentic and unfiltered compared to pre-recorded videos. 
This authenticity can help viewers trust you and make them more likely to engage with your live content. Four, sense of presence. Live streaming can create a sense of presence where viewers feel like they are sharing in a physical space where you're at. This feeling of co-presence can enhance the emotional impact of your content. Five, immediate gratification. Live streaming offers immediate gratifications as viewers can engage with your content and the artists in real time. And this aligns with the psychological concept, by the way, of that instant rewards and satisfaction. Therefore, to godly compete, and I say this carefully, to godly compete, you'll know why a little later. With that viewership on social media, I recommend going live as often as you can as part of your marketing strategy. So now that we have a general idea why there is increased visibility with live streaming versus pre-recorded videos, keep in mind that a huge factor of building your fan base using social media will depend on which platform you use and how their algorithms are set up. The fourth strategy for building a strong fan base is building community. Fans appreciate events. I mean, they really do. Organize some type of fan appreciation event, such as giveaways, gift cards, etc. This is a memorable experience and reinforces the social connection between you and your fans. Perhaps you may want to use a gift card or a giveaway or a contest or event for a upcoming new release, right? You can perhaps somehow merge the two together and perhaps grow your fan base because of the generosity you have for them. Also, collaborative projects. Involve your fans in collaborative projects like lyric contests or cover song competitions or um, fan submitted artwork or something like that. Uh, it, It encourages your active participation and showcases the talent and creativity within your fan base. The fifth strategy for building a fan base is live performance. Showcasing your live performances are invaluable opportunities to connect with your gospel music fans on a deeper level. Deliver dynamic and captivating performances that resonates with your audience. Interact with your fans during shows. Encourage sing-alongs and create an inclusive and uplifting atmosphere. If you're providing an online show, be sure to have the right equipment set up so that the sound output on video has a quality similar to being at the event in person. Use platforms that will allow you to stream long shows and you might even want to stream them on multiple platforms simultaneously in the event one platform goes down, okay? The sixth strategy for building a fan base is leveraging collaborations and cross promotion, collaborating with fellow artists and influencers in various ways. Collaborating with other gospel artists whose music aligns with yours can expose your music to each other's fan base and create new opportunities for growth, joint performances, production and or songwriting on each other's song can be incredibly effective. Last but not least, the final and seventh strategy to building a fan base is nurturing a thriving fan base. Remember, building a strong gospel music fan base goes beyond just creating great music. It requires a genuine connection, consistent interaction, and a sense of community. By understanding your target audience, being authentic and transparent, utilizing social media, nurturing a sense of community and leveraging collaborations, you can build a strong and loyal fan base that supports you throughout your music journey. And the devotion of your fans can elevate your gospel music and spread your message to the world. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of our podcast. Be sure to view the links in the description if you found these strategies are valuable in your pursuit of building a gospel music fan base. I ask that you please like, 
comment, and or, if you want, include your experience of what you believe to be or has been an effective strategy for building a fan base. And remember, Hosea 4, 6 says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. God bless. I pray this be an inspiration.